Get the tools you need to become a free and independent trainer with my Dumbbells of Dollars course at www.dumbbells2dollars.com. Hi everyone, everybody, Jonathan here, and in this video, and in about five minutes or less, your original Fit Boss is going to go over the three traits of a nightmare client, all right? And this is going to be very important to understand because everybody knows what their dream client is, you know, somebody that pays on time, shows up on time, follows their nutrition, has no physical limitations, so you can program any way that you want. That's great, but you have to be more open-minded to weeding out the people that can be nightmare clients because they are going to be the kinds of people that want to make you quit your job all right and i've dealt with a number of people where after a while you just start to notice certain things you got to understand you're getting in a relationship with this person uh you're going to be spending a lot of time with this person so if it can't work you got to identify the red flags and then act accordingly, all right? Or else you're just gonna hate your job, and I don't want that for you. So let's go over these three traits of a nightmare client so that you can help yourself out when you talk to people. All right, the first trait of a nightmare client uh, is unrealistic goal setting, all right? So I can't tell you how many times I've come across clients to say, I have a vacation in a month, I have a vacation in two weeks, I have a wedding in two months, and I need to lose a like, unreasonable amount of weight. All right, that is the number one biggest red flag that um, that a client can throw out there because they're not going to give you an opportunity to uh, apply your own protocols in a natural manner. Any trainer knows uh, that's worth their salt that it's going to take a fair amount of time for somebody, especially coming off the street that hasn't established good eating habits, to change your eating habits uh, for long enough that it actually yields a physical change in their body that you can see. So when somebody comes in and they're like, oh, I need this right now, you know, you're just setting yourself up for somebody that's going to rush you, for somebody that's going to berate you, and for somebody that's going to blame you for something that they were never ready for to begin with. So remember, you don't have any magic wands, don't get involved with clients that have unrealistic goals. The second trait of a nightmare client is a lack of accountability. And this is the kind of client that takes the information that you give them but doesn't follow through on it. So I was specifically talking to this trainer and she has a protocol to help their clients, to help her clients with nutrition, where they're supposed to write down all the food that they eat for like the first week or so. Pretty standard, not something that most trainers don't do. So she tells her client to do this. Uh, at the end of the week, she asks the client for the, um, for the journal and the client just starts talking, all right? And then the trainer's like, no, 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 I wanted the journal, I, I, I need to read this. And the client says, I know everything I ate. It's all up here. And I've had this happen a number of times. Um, and it's not just limited to, you know, nutrition. Accountability also relates to showing up on time for sessions, you know, trying your best, you know, keeping the lines of communication open, being honest about what you do. And if clients fail in this area, uh, it's it's going to be impossible for them to see success. And again, just like with the first one, they're going to blame you. It's just that it's not going to be rushed. They're just going to blame you all the time for not doing a good enough job. All right. The third trait of a nightmare client is an inability to relinquish control. So this is one of my biggest pet peeves. Uh, if a client were to, in the middle of a session or in the middle of the uh, onboarding process, completely try to make up the rules. So as a trainer, let me do my job or don't hire me, all right? I don't care what your last trainer did. I don't care what Dr. Oz says. I don't care what Jillian Michael said. I don't care what the last commercial that you saw said. You're seeing me as a trainer, so you're gonna follow my rules. That's something that you have to understand. And it's very different from taking feedback. Feedback is good because it's the client accepting your protocols and then giving their opinion on how they're implementing it, as opposed to disregarding your protocols and trying to replace them. So feedback, good. Um, inability to relinquish control, not so good. Some people hire trainers just so that they can have a trainer and blame somebody else for their lack of success. Oh, I'm not losing weight because my trainer's program is stupid. You know, I don't like it. They won't even let me drink wine. You know, so like you got to be you got to be very uh, mindful of these things and keep your eyes open. I know based on experience and you guys have probably seen it because the number one question that I get in my private Facebook group starts off with, I have this client and, and then it's one of these three red flags. So keep your eyes peeled. All right. If you can't uh, nip this in the butt and then, you know, change it, run away from it. It's not worth it. You're better off getting a better client. The money will be around elsewhere and then you'll be able to enjoy your career. All right. So. 
that's about it. I hope you found this video helpful. I tried to keep it short. Um, I just wanted to make a video just to reach out to you guys and let you guys know that I'm there in case you have any new questions, comments, or concerns. Because if you have any of them, I'd love to make a video on them as your questions and comments make the uh, fuel the videos on this channel. So if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. Of course, if you like this video, hit the like button. And I'm going to be back for more information, all right? If you're looking for uh, somebody to build your website or if you're looking for any of my courses or if you need CEUs for your NASM certification or AFA certification, head over to the www.dumbbellsdollars.com. But in the meantime, as always, remember to eat healthy, hydrate, drive safe, stress levels all get rest, don't slap anybody, love your clients, stay alive and back. I'll see you all tomorrow or the next day and you have a good one. <laughs>